right, Michael Brockers promised that the Lions will win over the Los Angeles Rams this season, and he wants to sack Matthew Stafford. Let's talk about it. Hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. Check out Detroit Lions playlists. Let's do it. Let's say it's TMZ. Michael Brockers guarantees win over Rams in 2021. I'm coming for Stafford. Uh, Michael Brockers said he, revenge will be uh, had over his former team this October. The Lions star tells TMZ Sports he's already given Detroit a win over the Rams in their 2021 matchup. Quote, definitely Brockers said when asked uh, the pass rusher out of LAX if he's already got the W on the circle. Circled on the calendar. Come on now. Michael uh, took it a step further and said he's gunning for at least one sack of Mac Matt Stafford when he has back to LA on October 24th for the big tilt. Quote, I got at least I gotta get at least one, Brockers told us. I'm trying to sack every quarterback, but I gotta get that one. Alright, let me continue. Let me continue. Let me continue. Sorry, y'all had a phone call. But um, he said, I got to get at least one. Brockers told us, I'm trying to sack every quarterback. Got to get one. Brock was traded to Detroit from L.A. in March. A shocking move considering just days prior, he gassed up the Rams and Stafford hard. At the time, 30-year-old told us Stafford was a better quarterback than Jared Goff insisted the Rams were legit Super Bowl contenders. Brockers, though, tells us it hasn't been weird at all sent to Detroit with uh, Goff despite the comments he reiterated to us. There's no, there's absolutely no beef between him and what him between them whatsoever. That's my brother Brocker said to Jared, adding, at the end of the day, what, what was said, what was said, but we can get over that. We're professionals. We can move on. So, you know, it, it ain't a lion season until you get some type of a guarantee. Usually, it's a Super Bowl guarantee, a playoff guarantee, a playoff win guarantee, and now it's a guaranteed win over some people think a Super Bowl some people think a Super Bowl caliber team in the Los Angeles Ram, but I think the one thing that's going to keep them from Super Bowl is they're in a super tough division. You know, but, you know, what's a Lions season without a guarantee? You know, it ain't none. You know, the preseason is Buffalo, Steelers, Colts, then 49ers. And then you go all the way down to, to October 24th, 4 or 5 p.m. We playing in L.A. Stafford, they coming back here. We playing in L.A., but... Uh, the Rams, you know, I'm rooting against Stafford, you know, because that's a better draft pick for us. But, uh, you know, they got a tough schedule, you know. Bears, Colts, tough. Buccaneers, tough. Arizona, tough. Seahawks, tough. All this in order. Giants could be tough. Then we play Detroit. Then in Texas, they got a little soft tail. Then you talking about the Titans. Then you talking about the 49ers. Packers could be tough. Couldn't be tough with Rodgers. Then you talking about the Jaguars. Easy. The Rams, the Cardinals again, not easy. Seahawks, not easy. The Vikings, the Ravens, and this is a tough schedule, bro. And if if it, if it, if it wasn't the Detroit Lions fault, the Rams gonna be super mad that they if they win a lost schedule. If it was the Lions fault and Stafford go out there and ball out, then um, you know we all know, we all believe it is the Detroit Lions fault. But you know, I don't think Brocker's good enough to be talking the shit that he's talking. You know, they got him listed as a DN. Let's check the roster. Um, that means the lean is probably gonna play. That means the lean is probably gonna be the nose tackle or Panisi. Hold on. So let's see. Let's see. Okay, so they don't got it in. Oh, yeah, they do. Okay, they got him as D line. So let's see if they got some D tackles in there. Yep. They got Orzorki at defensive tackle. I think he's gonna be an end. So I don't I don't know where they're going, but I don't think Brocker's good enough to, to talk the shit that he's talking. But you know, he motivated, he did crack on uh Jared Goff and said Staff was an upgrade then. He found himself being traded to Detroit, and I think that has something to do with Brad Holmes. I didn't know he's from Houston, he's only 30 years old, but he's somebody that ain't never had double digit sacks. He had five last year. That was his career, five and a half was his career high, you know. But um, you know, I, I just prefer, I prefer not to hear trash talk from the Lions play. I don't want to hear nothing about uh, getting no sack. Just make it happen. We we go through this every year. Somebody come in, 
I want to change the culture. We going to the playoffs. We going to the Super Bowl. I'm gonna get this sack. We gonna get this win. We are gonna get this dub. I'm like, be honest as a life, and you can't circle no win as a W, and you really can't circle no win as no loss, cause they lose the games they pose to win, and they win the games they pose to lose. My thing is with Brockers, just shut up. I don't remember him being that vocal with the Rams. Just shut up. Why people get here and just feel confident? Do y'all not know the history of Detroit Lions? Even though they got the ninth most wins in NFL history, do people not know the history? Why is people so? Why is the players come here and feel so comfortable that they can change it around? You know, you ain't Barry Sanders. You ain't Lawrence Taylor. I don't understand why these people get here and get so confident. You know, I'm going to turn this around. It takes. It's going to take a village. It's going to take a whole team, a whole coaching set, turn this whole thing around. You know, it's going to take a lot of stuff. Let's just start off by working hard and shutting up. How about that? Let's start off by working hard and shutting up. Now, everybody want to come in. We gonna win. I mean, I've watched the Lions for 25, 30 some years, and it's always feels it always feel like somebody. Um, it's always every once in a while somebody that feel like they could turn it around. Talking ain't gonna do that. We do need an emotional leader and somebody that's gonna light a fire under everybody. But let's just start off trying to build in the winning culture. That's my thing. These dudes get here and super confident. But what I love to see them stack staff for a lot. Of, yeah, man, you look at uh. Let's pull up the Rams. Pull up their roster. Let's see. Oh, line wise. Stafford downgrading the whole line here. But we'll see. They all line and shit. Ainsworth, he gotta be 50, 100 years old. I didn't know he went to LSU. Ainsworth, Coleman, Shev, Shevman, Shelton, Max Pitcher, Joe Noteboom, Jordan Meredith, AJ Jackson. He's a rookie out of Iowa. Um, Rob at Heavenston. And this AJ dude is 285 pounds, 6'7. He's kind of lean for offensive line. Bobby Evans, David Edwards, Wisconsin, Jamil Derby, Austin Corbett. Chandler Brewster, Ty Remain, Archman Jr. He pretty young. He got some young guys. Byron Allen, Michigan State. Brian Allen. So yeah, they got some young guys, man. But uh, we'll see. Let me know what you guys think about Michael Brocker's comments um, about he want to sack Stafford. He's circling to win over the Los Angeles Rams. That's one that the if we not gonna win nothing right now, make the playoffs. Um, that's one that uh. That's nothing we really, really want. But hey, let me know what you guys think. Come get me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. All my social media subscription. You can reach out anytime. If you have a business question, inquiry, response, you have your request. Or you want to advertise business on the channel, hit me up. Want to make a financial donation? Cash up, CJ Good313. That's in the description. PayPal link there as well, too. That's what the donate. Share, share the video. One time for one time. Peace. All right, all my Detroit Piston fans and all my Detroit fans, all my Motor City Sports Talk fans, make sure you guys go check out Piston Mike. We got him over 100 followers. So make sure you check him out. Everything Pistons, man. He going to hold it down and do his thing just strictly on the Pistons thing. You know, I got the lines of Pistons. But, man, we always trying to help people get their channel up. Let's get him to 200 next, 300 next, 400 next, 500 next. And let's get him all the way to a rack so he can start making that bag. Appreciate you guys. Make sure you go over to Piston Mike as you see it on the screen. Let's get him to 200, then 300, then 400, then 500, and the whole shebang. Peace.